We've got breaking news at this hour. The discovery of the therapist found decapitated late last night has now been reported by the police to be a class five oopsie whoopsie. The police have issued a reminder to the public to hide your kids and hide your wives while the area is purged the and banished to the time out realm. And thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to join us here tonight. And is it true that the sponsor of this episode, Skillshare, the one and only learning community with thousands of diverse classes, can actually help people no matter what the skill level they're at? That's amazing. And the fact that they have classes like Mastering Illustration by Jazza makes me want to go sign up right now. He's so charismatic and knowledgeable. He should look into being one of those YouTubers or something. <laughs> then why don't you? Uh, <laughs> uh, what? Why don't you sign up? Right now? Uh... Rough nut, huh? <laughs> you could say that. What's this? I got this from a pretty credible source. I mean, it must be getting old, the way he always gets you. Thought uh, maybe it might be time to change that around. my birthday. I'm gonna buy some Lego. Uh. 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 Oh, this is that Lego you were you were ordering, right? Oh, this is uh this is the People's Republic of Lego I see. You so you didn't you didn't notice this was a knockoff? Was it cheap? Yeah. And that wasn't a giveaway? You can just return it, right? They don't accept returns. It can't be that bad, right? Here we go, we've got manufacturing quality that only fake Lego can provide. Um, no, it, yeah, it's not staying. Just glue it. But, but that's sacrilege. Well, technically, it ain't Lego, though. Well, no, it's it's it's, it's still kind of functional. No, but it doesn't matter. Well, it's, like, it's not you don't have to like it on the same. paper, the but it's it's like Lego. interlocking bricks, no, right? If you get Lego, the same you can dimensions mix it up and stuff. But oh, what a cute building! Right? No, it's very no, shiny. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. Are you going to add detail to make it more realistic? The purpose of the product is something you can. Oh, you could even paint it. Otherwise, you may as well just. Otherwise, you may as well just have Okay. No, yeah. Then once it's assembled, you need. So apparently, I've somehow still managed to not learn my lesson from last time, and I built that mini medieval model. For I'm now going to build a Japanese one, but this time I have a reason. I refuse to be defeated by my incompetence at online purchasing. Therefore, I've decided to still go ahead and build these models, but then teach them a lesson for not being Lego and use them as a base to then add on to. First, I needed to actually assemble these two suckers, so naturally, I enlisted the help of my siblings and threw a Lego party. This is a sister's setup. She's got some bowls happening, got things in packets. This is this is our setup. <laughs> you can't you can't get stuff done if they're not out of the packet. Your process is chaos. And I'm very glad that I'm not part of it. Chaos produces results. So turn it around. Use it like this. No, no, I do what I want. He's doing so well, bro. No, it, it went before. Keep it up. Wow. Oh, oh no. You're doing so well, sister. <laughs> it's actually annoying me a lot. Can you use stupid mm. piece of Lego? It's not Lego, though. Oh, uh, Leffen. It's not Leffen, though. Well, I don't know. I think we respect its, its will to be there. I think we do. No! <laughs> Oh, yeah, you, you hey, know, good job, bro. You did that all by yourself with yeah, no help, with no help, no external help. Victory, Yeah. 
Next, I had to find a base that would be large enough to fit these two builds in and also be able to hold resin for I was thinking of including a water feature. Ooh. <laughs> hey Dad. Yep. Can I can I have this? Where'd you find it? In your shed. Yeah, all right. Sweet, thank you. You didn't know those strains of possum pieces. What? So my plan for this build was to kind of pay homage to the family I was living with in Japan. Because it was insanely rural, most buildings were still more traditional. One of the things I changed was instead of the pine forest we were next to, I had a bamboo so it didn't take away from the sakura tree feature. With the tray obtained, I then moved on to carefully cutting out and forming the terrain with leftover foam sheets from last time, and then with only a touch of glue, delicately spread it around making sure I got all the corners. After that, I sprayed pipe filler everywhere to make everything have a bit more of a natural shape. Then I cut off the excess and with air dry clay, started to form the cliff side. What are you doing with my rolling pin? I'm just going to make a cake. I also started to roll out the base for the Zen garden and then spray painted everything. Before I started to glue and add to the two builds, I first made sure I had all the tools I needed. I already went ahead and borrowed some clay sculpting sticks from the ceramics classroom at school, but felt they weren't delicate enough to really create that detail I was after. The Ozito rotary hammer drill with the German extended quad flute masonry bit was especially useful here, as was the Makita DE3435 chainsaw. However, the hammer in hindsight definitely was overkill. Now that I was adequately equipped, it was time to cover up the fake Lego. At first, I couldn't decide between oven baked or air dry clay. In the end, I actually started with oven baked, realized I can't actually bake Lego, then covered it up with air dry. Don't worry, I was annoyed at me too. I even researched what type of plastic Lego is made out of and what temperature it could go to before melting. Then I remembered this ain't Lego, so it would probably melt in the sun. <laughs> In addition to the clay, I also used some leftover plaster moulds I had from the medieval town and some skewer sticks I found. I got a feeling the two models, now all clayed and glued up, were lonely, so I decided to add a little dock and storage room of sorts below the main building. I found a super cheap Japanese restaurant DIY kit online that I thought would be a great addition. However, upon purchasing, I found that instead of Japanese instructions that I could have worked with, they were Chinese. In the end, I kind of just made it up and used like just a quarter of the actual kit. Also chucked up a bit of a wooden platform with more skewers I found. After I slapped a good amount of plaster paste onto where I wanted the sand to be, I used a comb to a comb through it creating grooves that I hoped would still be visible when I put the sand down. Then I spray painted everything and started adding colour using acrylic paint. After that was dry, I sprinkled some of the sand on top. I realised I needed a rock if I wanted my zen garden to look zen gardeny, so I stole one from my rock hoarding cat. Then I realised I needed more than one rock, so with my cat's collection now depleted I went on a journey to discover where my cat obtains these rocks. Happy to report back it was rather successful. Moving on, I started working in more of the details, such as laying out the wooden boardwalk to hide the Lego lumps, creating the nolan, the latticework to block the windows and the doors, and the area of the roof where it was committing not alive. I also started to professionally and patiently paint the lanterns and beads that I then wrapped in tape and added detail to to make paper lanterns and barrels. Moving on to the flora side, I tried to follow the advice of the pros to lightly coat and then sprinkle the petals on, catching anything that fell to rinse and repeat. Again I found that yeeting the entire branch drenched in an excessive amount of glue proved to be far more efficient in getting the job done. So I just did that for the entire thing. For the bamboo and shrubbery, I bought some from the interwebs and then with this stabby stick hand placed all 200 of them. I can safely say the stab has now been taken out of the stick. Wanted to make some fishies, so I did. 
took me a bit to get the hang of it and get a shape I was happy with, but after baking and then painting them, was honestly pretty satisfied. Finally, I had another go at dyeing and pouring resin, and while definitely went smoother than last time, still needs improving so I don't form as many bubbles and wait too long to put the koi in. But oh well, what's done is done. Now it's showtime.